What's going on everyone? Go and check the history coming to you from historic downtown St. Augustine, Florida. I'm here at a hotel room and uh, going to be hitting up some, some haunted locations, some historic sites here in the nation's oldest city. You know, if you've been liking my videos, make sure to subscribe, like, put down in the comment section the uh, different uh, locations you may like for me to go and visit and um, I'll see if I can make it happen. So, come along with me as we go to the back roads of the nation's oldest city, historic St. Augustine, Florida, here at Golden Ticket to History. Established in 1821, this ancient St. Augustine Cemetery is located just across from the city gates. It was opened to serve as the final resting place of those in the city who were not Catholic. At the time, the only cemetery other in the city was the Tolomater, which was reserved for Catholics only. Just after this burial ground opened, an epidemic of yellow fever broke out, claiming the lives of many of St. Augustine's citizens. Home to approximately 436 of the city's deceased, Huguenot was the first public cemetery and the only one that offered burials for Anglo-American civilians. It was acquired by the Presbyterian Church in 1832 and was maintained by them until the cemetery was closed down in 1884. Believed to be the most haunted cemetery in the ancient city, Huguenot has been called Spirit Central because of the many inexplicable events, sightings, and recorded paranormal activity over the years. Visitors to the Huguenot Cemetery can expect to see more than gravestones that date back nearly two centuries. They can also expect to see things they may not understand, feel things they can, cannot explain, experience a true sense of something supernatural going on around them with no known explanations. It is here that a young girl believed to be around 14 years old was buried. She perished after being exposed to yellow fever and her body was dumped at the old city gates. When no one came forward to claim this poor child, she was put to rest. But is she resting? Many say no, as they have seen her ghost floating amongst the trees. She's even been known to wave to guests she encounters. If you're visiting at night, the best time to see her is sometime between midnight and 2 a.m. She's always described as appearing in a white, flowing dress. Perhaps the most famous of the dead still lingering in Huguenot is Judge John Stickney. The Honorable Judge passed away in 1882 and left behind his children, who were now orphans because their mother had died years before. The grieving brood was quickly given to family members up north to be cared for, leaving the final resting place of their father far behind. Years later, the children, all grown up, decided to have their father's body exhumed and reinterred in the Washington, D.C. area, so he would be closer to them. On the day of the exhumation, the grave diggers take a short break to refresh themselves from the grueling Florida heat. In their haste to take the break, they left the casket open, only to return to find that the thieves had stolen the judge's gold tooth. To protect their job, the two workers simply closed the casket in the hopes that no one would notice. So when you 
walk the cobbled road of St. George Street. Always remember that the individuals walking past you in the night may just be spirits of history's time gone by. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, as well as to take and place in the comments what you'd like to see next here at Golden Ticket to History. As always, continue to look for the history in film. Until next time, happy haunting.